Okay, so we just spent the last video uh, describing how Newton's method works. Now we're going to do an actual example. So let's do the example, just a simple one. Um, uh, let's say it's f of x is equal to x squared minus 5. And we want to equate this. We want to find out where this is equal to 0. Well, you can see right away this isn't going to factor out to anything nice. Um, so let's just draw a graph and see what it looks like. Like this. Just do a really rough sketch. Um, x squared is equal to 0. Well, we know that the y-intercept is going to be equal to minus 5. So let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we'll say that this is, make the x and axis a little bit different. We'll say this is 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so this is stretched out a little bit, but that's okay. So we know that it goes here, and we, then we can just simply put in x values. So um, x is equal to 1, it would be here, and x is equal to 2, we would be up 4 points from where we started, and then x is equal to 3, it would be up 9, so this is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. We would be up by about here. And same thing on the, the left side, but let's just solve for this, the intercept that's going to be over here. So when we connect our dots, you know, we're going to get something like that for this function. Now, uh, so we're going to have to make a guess. Um, now actually here, I'll make a button down here. Um, click here. Click here. Uh, if you missed the last video or you need just to touch up on it, um, click this box and I'll take you back to the previous video and you'll see just how we work through getting uh, the formulas because I'm not going to explain that in this video. We're just going to do that for the example. So anyways, click that button and it will provide some more insight into Newton's method. So we are going to guess, this looks like it's somewhere around... Um, one, two, three, somewhere around two and a half, okay? So we're gonna guess that our x naught is equal to two and a half. So let's go up here. So we'll just write this down. X naught is equal to two and a half. You know, we could guess 2.4, 2.6, anything within reason that's relatively close to this. So let's solve this uh, x intercept. Let's say we wanna solve it to three decimal places. So if this is x0 is equal to 2.5, then x1 is going to be equal to 2.5 minus, well, this will be 2.5 squared minus 5, right? This is our f of x. And this is going to be over 2 times 2.5, right? That's our f prime at x. 2 times 2.5. I guess we should probably write that. We'll just write this here. So f prime of x is just going to be 2x, right, using the power rule. So uh, now this will reduce to, um, this is going to be equal to 2.5 minus uh, 2.5 squared minus 5. That is 1.25 uh, over 5 which is going to equal, well this 1.25, if you bunch this into your calculator, divided by five, is gonna be equal to 0 0.25. So our x1 value is gonna be equal to 2.25. So there we go. So this is our, this is equal to x1. All right, we're gonna to have to use a smaller font because I think we're gonna run out of space. Um, so now we're gonna repeat for x2. So now, right now we have 2.25, this is two decimal places. Um, but we want to find 3, and this might not even be totally accurate yet. So we'll solve for, let's do it over here. x2, that's going to be equal to 2.25, right? It's going to be x1 minus f at x1 over f prime at x1. So we'll have f at x1, that's going to be minus 2.25 squared, 2.25 squared minus 5. This is over 2 times 2.25. 2 times 
2.25. Okay, so now when we work this out, or we'll reduce this a little further, we get 2.25. It's going to be minus. Now, if you punch this into your calculator, uh, 2.25 squared, uh, we're going to get um, 5.062. Five minus five, so we've got to put brackets around this so we don't get lost. And then this is going to be over 4.5. So uh, now again, if you just put this into your calculator, this part on the top and the, and the brackets will be 0 0.625. And then 0 0.625 divided by 4.5, we're going to end up getting, uh, here we'll write this down, 2.25 minus, we'll do this in our calculator, and this is going to be 0 0.013888, and that just goes on. Uh, and so this will equal, x2 will equal, and you have to do this all in your calculator, 2.236111, and so on. So now that's a little bit closer. See, uh, we guessed 2.5, x1 was equal to 2.25, um, x2 is equal to 2.236, so we're know we're, we know we're going to be somewhere around 2.2, right? That The first decimal place hasn't changed, but the next one has, so we're going to go a little bit farther. We want, we want to keep going until we're going to find that these three decimal places don't change. So now we'll solve for x3, x3, uh, so now we're going to have this number here, uh, two, I'll write it in, but 2.236111 minus, now it's going to be x, f at x2, so this will be 2.236111 squared minus 5. And this is, it's getting pretty hairy, but we'll write it out just for learning purposes. 2 times 2.23. 6111. One. Um, it's quicker just to write, you know, f at x and f prime at x, but um, sometimes it gets confusing when you're first seeing this and you get lost. So, anyways, we'll keep going. We get this is equal to 2.25. Now, minus, let's just work this through. So, this squared will be 5.0001. You know, nine to nine, somewhere around there, minus five. And again, keep this all in brackets. And this is still over, well, this is times two now, so this is 4.47. Now this is two, two, two. All right, so now if we reduce the, or if we work out the top, uh, this number 5.0001929 minus five is just going to be zero point. Zero 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 one nine two nine. Okay, and there's more decimal places, but we're only going to three decimal places, so this is plenty enough at the end that we don't need to worry about that. Okay, so we're getting there. Um, now, what we want to do? This is going to be equal to. We want zero point zero 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 one nine two nine divided by four point four seven two two two. This crazy numbers, but we'll get, so this is going to be equal to 2.25 minus that number. Oh, sorry, this isn't 2.25. That's my mistake. Um, see, it's really easy to get lost in these problems. Um, this is, again, this is this number here, x, x2, right? So 2.236111. And again, 2.2 three six one 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 right so you got to really pay attention that you're not getting lost that's why we wanted to work out using the actual numbers uh, so that's okay so we fixed that problem now this is going to be minus 0 0.001 uh, divided by 4.47 and that is uh, this is a nasty number uh, it's about 4.313319 times 10 to the negative 5 Right, there's just enough zeros in the front that we don't need to worry about that now. Uh, and so when we subtract 2.23611 minus 
this number, 4.3 times 10 to the 5, negative 5, uh, we're going to find out that x3 is equal to uh, it's 2.23606 uh, seven nine seven eight etc but what we're looking for here we want to solve to three decimal points okay so x2 was 2.236111 now x3 is 2.236011 so these now we're going to keep getting closer and closer and the first three decimal points past to x3 or even x2 aren't going to be changing so we wanted to just confirm that these are the first three decimal points here so that's the solution to our initial problem to three decimal points. If we wanted four, we're going to have to go, you know, check x4 and so on. But um, this is good enough for our problem. And just make sure when you're doing these problems that you really keep track of what's going on here. Because um, even we found here, just trying to do the example problem, that we still mixed up the numbers. So just make sure that you keep everything in line and you shouldn't have any problems.